fellow and welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. The sun is high in the sky, the island is green and actually quite beautiful. I, I really do like this island. This is one we made in the map editor some time ago and it is a brilliant, brilliant home island, a home base if you will. But last time I said, oh, do you want to see me uh, try to continue building a bridge from one island to another, even though we know, well, we basically know it's impossible. Or, uh, or would you like me to carry on playing the game and the third option was would you like me to jump into the map editor and make a new island something akin to well it's a bit of a mess i'm gonna be honest we need to do a bit of housekeeping but uh, something akin to this something big something interesting or something possibly dangerous and a few people responded and they said let's go back to the map editor so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna punch out of here so here we are once more in the cartographer this is well this is the uh, 25 islands so five by five grid and this represents the entire world if if you are new to the cartographer uh, the way to get a map from one place to another is to left click drag it onto a tile that's that's basically how you do it you might not get um like an animation but the uh, let's let's just do it let's drag uh this one over here so Boom, uh, we've just dragged this map onto the cartographer. And if we wanted to get rid of it, we can just click on it and then press delete and remove. Uh, yes, please. And it goes back to the original um, randomly generated island. So, so what we're going to do, I mean, that's basically the cartographer. What we're going to do is we're going to make a new map. And we've done this before. We've done this many, many times. As you can see, we've got lots of maps up the side. And I'm thinking this time we go a little bit more dangerous. I think I've made at least one map with a lot of sharks on it, um, but possibly not, not on the channel. So let's create an island. Uh, yes, <laughs> we're not going to keep the changes. So it has been a while, but here we have our new map and all the controls are the same as they were before the camera, which really doesn't do anything. The objects, which are the items. So we've got all the objects that uh, you can get in the game. Uh, you've got your balls, your boy balls, your coconut balls, your coconut flasks, cloths, hammers, axes, arrows and everything. You have the trees, all the foliage that isn't grass because grass is done on a height map so uh, the closer you get to sea level the more sand you have the higher up you get camera 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 the higher up you get the more sort of well forest floor it gets and then there's uh, a beautiful midpoint which is green and grassy at the moment there are no uh no grass sprites do not adjust your camera do not adjust your tv set that is perfectly normal because um of lod level of detail in the map editor is a lot lower oh the music's a bit turn it down on my headset so the, the uh, level of detail on the map editor is a lot lower than it is in the real world some objects will disappear some things will just look kind of low poly anyway so you gotta you gotta kind of be aware of that this is actually kind of a nice island as a, as a sort of a starting point, um, we've got the rocks, which are cliffs and, and various large boulders. Uh, we also have structures. So the sea forts, interesting thing. They should technically be fixed, technically, technically, but I'm not sure they are. So you use with caution. The problem is you can use them in your own game. But if you share the map with other people, for some reason, the sea forts weren't showing up. Apparently that's been fixed now. Um, Mm, okay, we'll just get rid of that for the time being. So we've got the shipwrecks and various bits and pieces in there. Miscellaneous. Well, there's Wally and the uh, the Dead X package. So the little, uh, the little. Let's just click and drag, click and drag. Ah, oh, click and drag from here. I'm being dumb. Um, yeah. The, so the uh, the Easter eggs. So Dead X and Wally from from the Tom Hanks film. Uh, saving Private Ryan. So that's that. R to rotate. There we go. T to transform. Uh, you can't change sizes because that's just something you can't do. Even though the option, there is a greyed out um, button, but you can't do it anymore. Delete. Deletes. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, carriage return doesn't uh, doesn't activate the little uh, little pop up menu, pop up item. And if we do drag something in. 
uh, and we want to clone it C clones. So we've got uh, so far T, uh, R, T and C to clone. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Or we can just click on this button. The, oh, click on something, click on the button in the corner. We do know from experience that if you have a bunch of items on the screen, it, you can't really tab between them. So you can get in a situation where you're trying to assemble some very complex structure and you just click, keep clicking on a rock or a tree or item in the foreground and you can't get to what you recently placed. That's a pain in the butt, but that's not gonna be a problem for a while. For you see, we have to go to the train tab and the train is gonna be interesting. First of all, we can actually click on the cog, hit display ocean and turn the ocean off. Boom, the ocean is now off. Although, interestingly, it's been a while since I've been here. Uh, if I click on objects, I get rid of the big blue brush. The core sticks are still showing up, even though we've removed the ocean. The other thing that happens uh, when you go below the sea, the uh, the background and uh, the world background becomes black, and the deeper you go, the darker it gets, because light apparently is not based on anything to do with the water itself. So. Cool. And the water, obviously, if we if we go back to the terrain and hit display ocean, the water's being rendered as a fairly calm ocean, and boop, uh, underneath, there's no fog layer. What is going on? Yeah, normally there's a fog layer. Um, so it's blue, it's kind of foggy, it, uh, it occludes the distance that you can see, or impedes how far you can see, but it's turned off. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Yeah, so that's kind of an interesting little thing. So we're going to turn the ocean off for the time being anyway, because uh, we're going to do that. Um, we need... Oh, look, you've even got clouds. There's a like a sprite layer for the clouds. Everything's very different since, I guess, the 0 0.51 update, maybe? No, that was, the, that was an annoying water one. So uh, we're going to go back to the terrain. We're going to go to the brushes, and we're going to be very careful because the size... What the size? Um is inherited as is the amount slider inherited between all these options so we have to make sure that we keep an eye on this amount slider because otherwise what we can do is punch a hole straight through to um, the bottom of the abyss the abyss being this black area here so um, that's the that's the island mesh that's the kind of island skin and we don't really well I don't really want to raise it up too much I don't want to have massive gaps under the island um, although, in reality, you can't really dive down that far as a person. But we've got to keep an eye on stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I kind of want a big area. Um, what I'm looking at is to go a little bit Jurassic Park with this one. So I've built um, islands with lots of small islands on it. So I've built an archipelago. Um, I've built Home Island, which is a big, very complicated and kind of detailed uh, island for just being basically a home. We built uh, Deep Blue Sea, which is the one with the rivers on the inside. I think I kind of want to keep it simple, but I also want to make it complicated. So first of all, we are going to need to know, uh, we're going to need to get a feel for size. And at the moment, it just looks like a tiny island, even though if we spawned on it, it would be freaking massive. So we're going to go to structures. We're going to find Shipwreck 3A. We're going to drag and that's going to give us... <laughs> why, are you, why are you disappearing? So that's the level of detail. We have to get it close and it sort of appears. In fact, what I'm going to do is hit just freaking delete that. Uh, yes, please. Because it's at a weird angle. Okay. Yeah, LOD in the map editor is a lot lower than it used to be. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. This is not a slow computer gonna say it now not a slow computer but I just want to get a, a feel for size and we've got a few things we've also got the door which we can use as a sort of a person size object so we'll do it when you first drag um, an object into the world it'll snap to the mesh or other objects as soon as you let go and hit transform it will no longer snap so we've got those um, interesting there's different levels of detail. So the completely low level detail model shows from far away, but as soon as you get close, it disappears. There's some LOD meshes missing from the map editor. That's what it's, that's what's happening. There's a bunch of meshes, 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 meshes missing for that particular shipwreck. 
Huh. Let's just delete that a second. Let's grab a different shipwreck. Uh, let's grab 2A. Yeah. So as we get closer, there's a lot more detail sort of pops in and pops out. Yeah. So uh, Shipwreck 3 is not broken. It won't be broken in the overworld. Um, I'm going to use that one instead because it's, it's actually there and we can see it. Fine. It gives us an idea of what we're working with. Um, terrain, I'm going to hit up the brushes, brush boys, set height, okay, um, good, we're going to read terrain, um, height, and what we're going to do is we're going to come in to, well, I, I kind of want to pull this area out, so I've just clicked, clicked on the sand, size is quite big, the amount doesn't matter now, because what, what happens is, uh, as we brush, we're actually pulling the land up to whatever we clicked on. So we are kind of bringing it out. Bringing it out. Uh, I kind of like this. I like this, the um, the nature of the island that we've currently got. But we need more land. We're going to need more land to play with. So let's go further out. Let's go further out. Uh, we can change the amount up. In fact, we can just go straight full on hardcore. Uh, you know the score. So what we'll do is we'll bring this out, 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 out. Uh, we do have a nice bay here. I do like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to need more terrain. It could be tricky. We might end up pushing pushing some stuff back because I also want sharks on this one. Sharks are going to be um, useful, but they're going to want somewhere to swim. And sharks notoriously do not like navigating the coastline. Uh, sometimes they will clip underneath it, especially on player-made islands. And that's a pain in the butt. It truly is a pain in the butt. So um, I'm going to read the hype and reap here. Let's pull all the stuff up in the middle. This is kind of uh, kind of fairly brutal what we're doing in order to set uh, set its coastlines. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and then what I'm going to do is smooth height. I'm going to change the size to quite big. Rip the uh, rip the amount slider all the way up. And then brush around the edge. And it's going to smooth off everything. But that's going to be really helpful for us. So, we're going to lose a lot of land to the sea. And the closer we get, obviously, the smoother everything is going to appear because, uh, yeah, LOD and the level of detail, which is basically just um, the computer reducing geometry and reducing detail on models in order to, uh, of, of things that are far away in order to save processing power. That's just what's going on there, which is something nobody asked for. Like, literally, nobody, nobody was like, ah, oh, I wonder what LOD means. Oh, wow, well, good. Well, you now you know. It's exciting, isn't it? I bet you're like, oh, that's, that's really exciting. Useful if you happen to be into making video games. Not so useful if you happen to be literally anybody else. Literally any anybody just like, oh, you know what? I just I just want popcorn right now. Just a big old bowl of popcorn. Hot, salty popcorn. Just going to put that hot saltiness in my mouth and really, really give it a chow down. Hmm. So, yep, just going around the outside. I want to keep some of this, like, terrain on the edge. Um, I will smooth it off a little bit around the outside, this kind of island cake layer. Just give it a quick smooth with the old... Oh. So it's WSAD to move, left click to make the, the brush do things, uh, Q and E to go up and down, in case uh, you haven't seen one of these videos before. Uh, smoothing... So you, you brush and then you smooth and then you brush and then you smooth and this is basically our life now. Uh, the reason for that is you don't want to see jagged uh, terrain at all. This is like we don't we don't need to see jagged terrain. Jagged terrain is for other people. Okay, cool. So we've got this weird, fairly big island. Nice, 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 nice. Um, what I'm going to do is go to objects and I am going to go to cliff. Oh, actually rocks. Cliff 6, hello. You're big, aren't you? Yes, you are. 
Look at the size of you. Really? I'm gonna grab you and grab you. So what do I want? Well, I want a couple of... I want a mountain. How do you do a mountain in Stranded Deep? That is an excellent question. I'm glad you asked. Um, it's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult. Because um, in the map editor, it's going to look like ass. It, it's just going to look like complete ass. Uh, and there's not a lot you can do about that. Oh, yeah, I tell you what we can do. Uh, we can go back to terrain and we can turn the ocean back on. Boom! The ocean is now back on. Oh, it's very shallow there. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. We we can um, do stuff. We'll, we'll mess around with the terrain. Uh, so basically what I want to do is uh, go back to objects and use these to kind of map out uh, part of our island. Um... I'm just going to hit C to clone, uh, R to rotate, T to transform, C, R, T, good, uh, clone you again, and I just kind of want to map out some, kind of sketch things in, there's no undo, by the way, so there's, there's no way to undo things if you completely beans it up. Um, the only thing you can do is if you if you misplace an object, um, you can't really do anything with it. Uh, if you accidentally um, have the amount slider all the way up on a brush, again, not a lot you can do about that. Sorry, you're gonna have to just uh, well, just redo it, fix it. Yeah, there's there's not a lot not a lot you can. Uh, do. Right, okay, I'm just kind of thinking on the fly as I'm talking. And I'm just kind of looking around on the island just to see what's comfortable. Ah, welcome to Jurassic Park. Basically, I've got Jurassic Park in my head. I've got John Williams' Welcome... Um, it's called Welcome to Jurassic Park. That's the theme, the, the basic uh, theme. And it's actually a really long bit of music. It's a very, very long bit of music. Um, I think what we can do is we can save ourselves a headache by using some cliffy boys um so these cliffy boys are going to be useful to us yes yes they are are you are you still there so they're going to help us kind of uh clone that rotate it transform it all right because I want to bring the brush in and raise up the ground, but there might be, we might end up in a situation where the ground is uh, too steep for people to walk on. So we're going to have to think outside the box, really. And one of the things we're going to have to do is um, kind of think with portals, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. So I'm just seeing how far I can come out. These are pretty tall anyway. I mean, you can't you can't really scale them. Getting um getting an idea of height is very very tricky. So what are we going to do? We're going to have a uh, mountain, mountain. We can do a lake. Yes, 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 yes. We're kind of working with what we've got. Um. All right. All right. Let's just see what we can do. So, uh, we we'll go back to train. We will go to raise and lower height. Remembering the mount slider is all the way up and put it all the way down. I got a weird little spinny thing next to my next to my cursor. Where is the spinny thing there? Uh, change the size down and raise. So we're gonna do a little exploratory click. Okay. Come mountain. Rise up from the ground and let me see your final form. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Um, one of the things you're going to need to do, what we're going to need to do, is stick a ton of foliage down. Using soft edge brush, which means the ground is raised up more in the center of the brush than it is on the outside of the brush. But it means that if you sort of um, have it, have the amount slider down and you sort of brush it around, like you're kind of massaging a cat, then you... Uh, uh, you feel good about yourself. Um, no, it means that you don't have uh, harsh edges. If we use the harsh edge brush, 
or the square brush or whatever, then you would end up with very, very harsh edges. Edges! So this needs to come up more and more and more. Uh, and we can have very steep. We can have, uh, we can have it quite steep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's keep going. Uh, let's change the amount up because we need to have it. Let's go a little bit faster. Faster, faster, faster. Faster, faster. Yeah, that's better. All right. Let's go back to objects because we're losing a few things. Uh, we've lost that and the door. Hello. Well, we're still still able to grab them. So how tall is this? Quite tall. We need to go higher. We need to go higher. Okay, fine. Uh, terrain. Let's grab this soft brush and move it out. For you see, what if you build it? People want to climb it. People, people always want to climb whatever you build. How close are we to the edge of the usable area? Uh, that's too bad. It's not too bad. So I want to build out. I want to build out. So we can put a peak on this, I guess. Uh, okay. We can tidy this up next to the water quite easily. Ah, yes. The trouble is, and we're already seeing a bit of trouble, is that if we... Hold on, lads, I've got an idea. Um, if we stretch this too much, uh, it's going to ob look obviously stretched. So, I don't really want to do that. Uh, okay, I'm going to need to smooth this off, which means we're going to lose a ton of that height. Not a problem, not a problem. Height, be gone. Oh no, you're losing all the height. It's not so much a mountain, it's more of a molehill. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. I know, I know exactly what I'm doing. Kind of. Uh, so yeah, by smoothing this off, it looks a little less weird. I want this ridge to come down. And what we'll do is we'll fill in that rock line. Yes, yes. Is this working? Is this working for you? Because it's kind of working for me. All right. Boop. Reading the terrain height. Uh, we change the size down. Oh no, the amount's all the way up. Oh yeah, but look. Insta, insta land. Probably read it from slightly lower and change the amount down a bit. Because um, we don't need it to be. What we can do is use the terrain to actually fill in a lot of these gaps. These gappy gaps. Okay, cool. Cool. And take some of this ridge off. Take this face off. Uh, I kind of want to flatten the, the top of the mountain as well. So, boop. Let's flatten this off a bit as well. So we have usable peaks, as it were. Just want to keep it a little bit natural. But if you want to build a house up here, then that's the thing that people are people are like. Oh, you know, I really, I really want to climb the highest mountain and then and then build something up it. I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, that's sure that you can do that. Um, amount, 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 amount. So we can put trees on this thing. We can put um, tiny pictures of the queen. What we're probably going to have to do is put rocks and things in order to uh, make it climbable. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, boy. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, no, that's fine. So we're going to do that. We're going to do the same thing over here as well. Uh, raise and lower. Raise. Amount. Size. It's big. All right. So I kind of wanted two mountains, two hills, two big, big old hilly boys. Um, so we can have a hilly, very hilly side of the island. And then the other side we can put lakes and trees and palms and palmer violets and uh, other things you get on the beach. Um, shacks selling ice cream, I guess. That's the thing that happens on beaches. Uh, how far are we? Oh, we got loads of room in this direction. Oh yeah, let's do it. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be building out. We're going to be getting this second. Because uh, 
in Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park. Uh, let's just fill that in a little bit. Um, the, the helicopter comes in and goes straight between the two mountains. And then the music plays, John Williams music. I was reading up on John Williams and I can't, I can't quite remember. There was something of his. It was, uh, he was stuck making audio for something. And the director said, hey, you know what? I'll let you, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Um, I'll let you, it looks good while I'm doing it. <laughs> I, that, that's the wrong button. I keep pressing the C and not freaking, ah, R to rotate, R to rotate. There we go. Yeah, so he, he, he kept pressing the wrong button and uh, the director was like, John, are you all right, dude? And uh, John Williams was like, I just, I can't, I cannot, do, I can't do the audio for your film, my dude. Yes, delete. I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. I was playing War Thunder and uh, C is the camera control in War Thunder. Uh, I just have my, my two fingers here. That's do it. That'll do it. That's better. That's, that's making me feel, feel better. R to rotate. Okay, cool. T to transform. It's because I, I have a microphone in the way. But yeah, he, so he was doing the score to the film. He couldn't quite get the ending right. Oh, it's E.T. It was freaking E.T. I remember now Steven Spielberg and John Williams was like, I don't know how to score the end of your film. So um, they, I did mean to do that one. They, uh, they let John Williams do the score and then edited the film around uh, the John Williams audio score. Yeah, I mean, that's how you do it. That's really how you do it. You're like, John, Johnny boy, big J, you, you're, you're a music dude. I like your music. I think I really, really want to, I'm going to have it in, in my film. Um, but if you're having trouble doing the score, I'll tell you what, let's just, 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 I'll just let you do what you do. And then we'll, we'll change the film to match. E.T. Did that come out before Jaws or after Jaws? No, Jaws was first because Jaws was the first blockbuster. Uh, people were literally queuing up around the block to, to watch it. And everyone was like, wow, this is, this is, this is where the term blockbuster comes from. And everyone was like, wow, I hope people don't use that for a, like a video store because when that goes bust, if it, if it ever goes bust, that would just be tragic. And uh, people were like, no, that'll never happen. Never happen. I'm not going to turn the amount up. Remembering that it's inherited between all the objects. Uh, okay, so we're kind of we're kind of going big. We're not going home. We're just going big on this one. Uh, using this moving tool to just kind of using this moving tool to actually dictate height on this other one, our other little mountain that we've got going on here. Um, doesn't mean we can play a lot around a lot with cliffs and things, uh, which is going to be sweet. As this look as you come upon the island. Well, it doesn't look great if you happen to be in the submarine, but if you happen to be flying, oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, right, okay. Yeah, I think we've, we've got something. We've got something usable and workable. Yeah, that's better. It's better. Of course it's better. We're doing it. We're doing it, Peter! Um, we can obviously bring this out. So what we're going to do is hit set height, change the amount down, read from the beach. No, that wasn't reading from the beach. That's reading from the beach. So there's a button that says read terrain set height. You click on it, it goes red. And then whoop, you click on something uh, that you want this brush to be set to, and it sets it to that specific height. And you're like, wow, that set it to that specific height. So now when you go back to your set height brush, you can brush out into the sea and it will set the height to match whatever you clicked on and you will feel good about yourself. You'll be like, wow, I feel really good about whatever I've just done. And uh, yeah, so the reason I'm adding a bit more beach is because we know we want these mountains. Um, there we, go. we know we want these mountains. 
kind of like the, the narrow beach on this side, but we'll add a little bit more. Um, but we also know the grass layer grow, uh, only shows at a certain height. So what we're going to do is brush this out in order to get a, an apron of grass. So we're, we're kind of blocking in features. So the mountains, the cliffs, I mean these cliffs in the back might go. Uh, but I'm kind of, I don't know. Um, we also need to remember Simba, remember um, that you have been copied from a Japanese animation with a white line instead of one from... You know what? Forget it. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to hit smooth height. Come back out here because we, we need to do this while we remember. So we're just going to go around smoothy, smooth beach. Of course we are. We've just, we just trauma the... Uh, yeah, crank it all the way up. Trauma the coastline. So we're, now we're going to uh, go back. Go back on ourselves. Just make sure it's all smooth. Because you don't want to be... You don't want to get late stage island creation. And then full on be like, Oh, you know what? The edges of my island look like ass. It looks like... It looks like a Michael Bay film. Oh, what have I done? It's it's like everything exploded, but in polygons. I gotta give Michael Bay props. He does deserve props. Um, bad Boys, Bad Boys 2. Did he Bad Boys? Doesn't mean he did Bad Boys 2. I mean, right place, right time. Michael Bay's good. Transformers films, well, not so much. Although Bumblebee was amazing. I saw that in cinema. It was, uh, I went to visit Dad at the beginning of the year, and we were like, you been to the cinema recently? And it was like, no. So we drove into Bristol and just went to the cinema and it happened to be on. I was like, you know, you want to see a film about robots? And he's like, I don't know. I have no opinion. So we went in, we watched it. It was a good film. I mean, Dad stayed awake for all of it, so <laughs> it was a good film. Um, all right, so we're reading the hype from the green now. And we're going to uh, crank the amount up. That's not read what I wanted it to read. Uh, read from here. There we go. That's why you don't just crank it up and then wildly brush around. So I want the green because I want to put trees and stuff around the apron. Um, and I'm kind of clicking wildly, inappropriately, uh, as if I would be uh, when I'm in Photoshop. So... Yeah, I just kind of I like the idea of like a Hollywood style island. So Hollywood kind of Hollywood's a weird place. Don't ever set your sights on Hollywood. Don't be like I want to I want to be where the celebrities are because Los Angeles. The more I learn about Los Angeles, the the less I really want to go there. It's just it's like it's not even a part of America. It's its own place. North America, the U.S. of A., the United States. I, I have a fascination with the United States. A lot of people in the UK do. And it's it's like, wow, how, how what it, just, just everything there is crazy. Like Canada as well. Uh, it's big, much bigger than anything you get over here. Just driving from town to town is huge. Uh, and the people seem friendly enough. I mean, there are some weird things. You don't have a national health service, which I can't fathom. I mean, we would, die on a mountain for our National Health Service. I mean, we, we have literally fought for it. Um, yeah, insurance companies don't understand. Also, television. What the heck's going on with American television? Is it just all adverts? I think it's all adverts. Oh, oh, and um, like reality TV? Adverts and reality TV. And you know it's reality TV because something happens, everyone gets all very, very serious all of a sudden, and then they play something called The Drone, which is technically a piece of music although not really a piece of music it's kind of just a tone that carries on kind of a well a drone and um it's like and then a dude will talk over the top or a lady will talk over the top and it's just like oh no somebody's done something dramatic and now we're going to the consequences join us after the ad break oh all right you know what i don't think i will don't think i will so yeah, but Los Angeles, it's even different, it's different again. It's just a load of people who who are just feeding off each other. It's kind of like a crab bucket where they're just eating each other. 
and not helping each other at all. I just, I can't understand it. Like the rest of the US, everyone seems happy just getting on and helping each other. But Los Angeles? No, no, no. So yeah, I don't know. It's a weird place. We're smoothing again. So I'm just going to talk about something I don't really understand. And now we are smoothing the edge of the island because what we've done is we've thrown in uh, this kind of grass layer. Uh, but I don't... Because at the moment, if we go and zoom in right on it, it's a bit of a seawall. It's a bit of a ridge. Don't like the ridge. Smoothing it out using a massive brush with a, quite a high amount setting on it. So we'll do that. Yes. Yes. Although... No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We're just smoothing that back. Because otherwise it would be completely flat. Um, the area that we've just used the set height tool on is completely flat. How flat is it? It is one flat. Uh, uh, uh. Two flat. Wow. I like Sesame That was Sesame Street, right? There's the count from Sesame Street. Love Sesame Street as a kid. Uh, obviously for two reasons. Damn Ghost Writer. Ghost Writer was really good. That was um, like an American kids show. I don't know how we got it in the UK. But we got it. We got it. No, don't you don't you worry. We, we got it. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring that out. So there's more. There's um, read set height. Okay, boom. From there. Because that, I believe, amount slider inherited. Let's bring it down. It's dangerous clicking on something we want to keep and just trying to change because we might accidentally click on something in the background. Um, yes, I thought so. So I'm just going to bring it. I was going to reach for the square brackets. They didn't do anything. I'd like Photoshop controls in uh, in in the editor. So the square brackets uh, should. Is that is that raising it up at all? I want I want this. So I'm wondering if the grass texture has this sort of weird indentation, whether we can actually raise it up a little bit more. I don't think we can. I think the repeating texture is the grass light. Hmm. Questions, questions. I'll tell you what, we'll make sure the amount's down, hit the raise and just see what happens. See if we can get rid of some of this repeating texture. It's not a bad thing to not have a perfectly flat floor because you don't want that anyway. Uh, we'll probably punch some holes and stuff in it. I'm just kind of curious as to uh, wh whether this texture is just, uh, yeah, by raising it up you start to get that sort of brownie texture coming through. Alright, then what we're going to do is brush out just using the raise and lower instead of using the set height on the edges of this mesh, uh, edges of this. We're going to have to smooth it off as well, but Otherwise, it's like a definite border around this island, uh, around this mountain spits. I do, uh, actually, why don't we turn the sea back on while we're doing this? Just, just to... That's not even doing anything. So yeah, the, the uh, when you got the cog selected, you ain't got nothing else selected. So the brush icon shows, but it ain't doing anything. Um, that happens in Photoshop as well. I do that in Photoshop as well. I've got the wrong brush selected and I'm like, oh no, this is it's not, it's not doing what I wanted it to do. Help. And it's like, oh no. Well, you've got the marquee selected. The marquee tool is selected and you're brushing somewhere else and you have something marqueed and it's like, ah, oh, ass, ass butts. Well, get your shit together, Adobe. Just, just get it together. And then Adobe's like, hmm. But uh, it's Photoshop. We, we got it together years ago. And it's like, no, nope, Macromedia got it together years ago. You're just... Oh, no, wait. Macromedia made Extreme 3D. And Flash. And then Adobe bought them. Ooh. I don't know if anyone uses, like, Flash anymore. Flash video. I remember somebody telling me that Flash video was the future. And they took this video and they compressed it down. And it looked like... I mean, it was like, who are you trying to convince, dude? It looked ass back then. It's like, this is not good. People people aren't going to really want to watch this, are they? It's like, yay! You no, know, please don't. So we've got, uh, we've got a good start, actually. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This is good. We can do stuff with this. So we still, I mean, this is freaking big. 
Um, we're going to have to do something with the outside. I think we're going to pull bits out into the sea. Yeah, I think we're going to pull out uh, bits into the sea. I kind of... I'm not feeling it. I mean, it's kind of close to the tile border at the front. The back's like, uh, yeah, we got loads of space in the back though. Okay, all right. We got things we can do. We got things we can do. I kind of want um, rocks, rocky rocks, kind of. I don't know why I'm, I'm hitting A and D, just wobbling backwards and forwards. That's going to make it nauseating. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to pull it back. Okay. We, we, we're going back, uh, back, forward, forward, uh, back, back, forward, forward. Oh, square brackets. That didn't that ain't do anything. So in Photoshop, square brackets changes the brush size, in case you never really wanted to know. Uh, the amount slider is all the way down because it's inherited. Remember that's inherited. So we'll pull it up a little bit and then we'll go this way. Yes, yes. Oh, I kind of like the idea of a big ass bay. Uh, how close are we to the edge of the world? Edge of the world. All right. Uh, I think we should go out. And what we should do is then carve in. Yes. Good. Excellent. I know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know what I'm doing. But I really don't know what I'm doing. Um. So, yeah, what I'm doing is... I like the idea of long sweeping bays, which we haven't got on this side of the island. I'm not too worried about that. Um, but here and here, uh, there's not much in the way of shape. So what we're doing is we're pulling the stuff out, which gives us land to work with in terms of if we want to put a river in it, which we probably will do. Um, if Oh yeah, no, that's a really good idea. There's natural cutting right, right across the center of the island. So we could put a little river um, running through it. Uh, a, a, a river would run through it. Um, yeah, that would be okay. Um, if we turn the ocean off, we'll see what mess we've made and how far to the edge of the cut off sword cake we've come. We've kind of come very close to the edge of the abyss. Gonna need to push that back um, here and here. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. The reason for that is I want a little bit of... So here and around the edge, the sort of island cape. I don't want it so far off the edge. So if you dive into the sea, all you see is the abyss. So I'm going to do is bring that back around there. Okay. And do the same thing here. So at least a brush width. So if someone dives off the edge, well, they're not going to... They're not going to immediately freak out because they're above the nothing. Uh, good. I mean, they're nothing. That would, that would make a brilliant um, antagonist if you happen to be uh, like a large uh, corporation. You could say, "Yeah, we've we've got this, this this idea for a film. The antagonist is is literally bugger all of anything," and you'd be like, "Wow, that's at least a million dollars um, idea." Yeah, give give this person all the money. Uh, so yeah. Got a bit of a cove thing going on. Yeah, that's better. And we'll read like that. Just do the same thing here. All right. Is that better? It's better. Yeah, that's better. So we're going to raise this bit up. I like the idea of raising this bit up and raising this bit up and having a bit of a river running through the middle. Good. So we go back to objects. Um, and we pull this object over here. Over here, uh, over here, and we'll do a little rotate, rotate. And press T, so R to rotate, because we know that. T to go down, because at the moment it's floating uh, in the air for some reason. And then do the same thing here. Look at that, look at the level of detail on that rock. It looks, it looks like a chocolate bar you've left in the car, and then you get closer, and boom, all the detail comes back. My computer can render it, lads. You, you, you really need a like a HD mode for the map editor. I think that would be brilliant. Some sort of uh, graphic like level thingy for the map editor so that 
people with big machines can be just be like, you know what, we're eating it. We're eating the eating the eating the game. Uh, all right. So what we need to do is we need to move this out and over here. Oh, this is gonna be. This is a freaking big island. It doesn't look big. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look big, but it is huge. Considering. Wrong button. That's the wrong button. <laughs> T, I want a T. I want a T to transform. Okay. Considering these rocks, if we come down to human size, these rocks are. Well, they're cliffs. They're literal cliffs. And so if we turn the world back on, terrain. Uh, yeah, no terrain. I was right. Cog. Ocean. Boom. So we go for a little walk on the beach using the right mouse button to turn. Oh yes, bubbles. Hello, my nemesis. So the bubbles represent what will be a gap in the ocean mesh between your beach and the, the sea itself. The way to get rid of those is to smooth. You need to be smoothing, smoothing that out. And the way to see it is, oh, I'll put the camera close. Uh, we're gonna need to smooth this the actual crap out of uh, all of this new coastline anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the reasons we have these objects, so this object here, is because it gives you an idea of how tall uh, you need to be. So um, you put the pothole at uh, the camera height, and it's basically, yep, this is, this is the height of your player. So if you need to know if uh, the player can get through an area or on top of something or through something, yep, the door is, the door is your friend. I don't know why the door is an object in the map editor. Um, there isn't like a human ragdoll that you can use in the map editor. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a useful thing. So we're just going to head up to rain and while we're thinking about it, crank the amount up, uh, have a nice soft brush and we're going to brush back all of this coastline around here. Um, you don't need to click and move it around as furiously as I've been doing it. Uh, furious clicking. Um, yeah, it's up to you. It's your map, your island, your rules. Uh, what I'm going to do is brush back, brush back, brush back. And all these bubbles will appear. All these bubbles would appear and eventually they should disappear. There you go. As uh as the the mesh, the island mesh and this the ocean mesh get recalculated. I think that's what's happening. Uh something's happening. Something crazy is happening, and the world is like, yeah, you know what? It's kinda cool. So we're actually brushing back in this kind of crescent here. Let's do this. Just, I'm just keeping the, the button held. Right, so that is now a lot smoother than it was. It is. That's actually really nice. Really, really nice. So we've got these mountains. Uh, we've got this area at the back, this kind of apron that we can play with. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, we're going to be using cliffs as well and rocks and things uh, to make these mountains kind of usable. That's going to be good. Um, let's just go down and boop ourselves in the sea. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of looks... The sea looks very empty at the moment. Boop. Uh, that is because the... So, until you're actually in the game, no rocks, no animals, no sea creatures, and no... Uh, seaweed and coral will be populated in the game. Similarly, things like the grass sprites, seagulls, uh, bats aren't going to be populated until uh, you put the island in the game. You can put the island in the game and test it at any stage just by saving it and then um, and then dragging it into uh, onto that 5x5 grid from the cartographer. So, uh, we may as well do that. So we're going to hit save. So we have Jurassic Park. Hey, uh, let's do that. Uh oh, a short description. Uh, it's an island with mountains. That's mountains. And sharks. Because there will be sharks. Oh, yeah. So we'll just hit save. And resume. So now we've called it Jurassic Park. Well, you know. 
I was thinking about John Williams, and I was thinking about Jurassic Park, and I was thinking about films in general. I was like, you know what? I really do want. I, I just want that that Jurassic Island. Um, the other thing, if you're in the map editor and you you haven't been here ever or in a while, is you can check the tides, tides and time, because tides now affect the game. So if you go to the settings, so terrain, and then click on the cog time. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, high tide is there and low tide is about there so this is now low tide and this area here is just a just this kind of skin of water it's almost ankle deep you would probably get your um your your trainers wet i guess uh and then if we change the time the other way the water comes up and about there and now it's uh it's probably butt deep so yeah, you you would no longer get your trainers wet. You would uh, you would you'd be wet right up to the pants, maybe the knees, depending on how tall you were. Um, I guess if you tried to run through it, you would you would definitely get wet pants. So yeah, that's how you check the check the tide. I like just leaving it at midday, just a mid mid tide. There's also like a uh, wet sand that you can kind of guess at how high the tide is going to be at any time. Cool. I actually like this ridge. I like this ridge that's going on here. Be on the abyss. Be on the terrifying drop because that'll be black. Um, actually, in the game itself, we might be might be able to keep that and do something with it. Uh, cool. But I have talked for a long, 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 long time, and now I need to go and do things that other humans do, like feed myself, which is annoying. I know, but. Ah, that's the set height. That was... Oh well. I mean, it's not a video if we didn't bean something up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, fortunately... So what happened was set height, the amount slider is all the way up. Because we were supposed to be smoothing height and not... Oh, so let's click on smooth height and just smooth that out while I'm doing it. I was just going to cheeky smooth because I could see that uh, underwater bit wasn't exactly... Uh, uh, smooth down there, but whatever, whatever, whatever. You beans it up once, it's not a bad thing. Yep, remember the amount slider is inherited. If you remember nothing, if you get nothing from these videos, just remember the amount slider is inherited. Good, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And I'm going to leave it there. So if you're liking this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And uh, if you do subscribe, click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live. Also, there is a Facebook thing and a Twitter thing. There's buttons at the top of YouTube. You can find them there. And you know what? I'll catch you next time. <laughs>